Hello, everybody, and welcome back once more to Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke. I am the Outback Al. We're here out on route. I think this is 116. I didn't check right away, but um, maybe it'll say it right here. Nope, it's just trainer tips. Doesn't matter. Anyway, we're checking out the rest of this route to see what we can do before we go to Rustboro. Now, I did check beforehand. Roxanne, uh, their highest level Pokemon is the Nose Pass. It's 15, which we're not close to, but we're not super close to. But there's actually, she actually has three Pokemon, so I can take three to the, um, to the gym. And that will definitely be Merle and Skipper. I don't know. Ooh, you picked something up. What'd you get? x -Tech. Hey, that's free money. I don't know who else I would want to bring, though, unless I catch someone, like... No, there's not really any more routes. So, it's Merle, like... I guess as a backup backup, I could take Bio Phoenix. They, you know, they have Water Gun, and they're probably fast enough to to deal damage that I need them to. So yeah, we'll we'll train up everybody like that, and get everybody good, and then we'll then we'll go. But right now we're gonna we're gonna just check out what's left here. Honestly, we might be able to train up just a little bit on, um, the people in the gym, because I know there's at least two trainers that I could work off of. So now that I'm thinking about it, Merle, since I'm going to switch you up with Bio Phoenix, because Bio Phoenix is going to need a lot more training now. I'm checking these spots, because I feel like the way that they're made, some of them could be a mm, spot that I could grab some stuff off of. Okay. Skipper is going to be our main... If Basically, we're going to have Skipper up front taking all the fighting. We could probably... If I can get everyone up to, like, level 11 or 12, maybe 13 at the most. Um, if we could get everybody up there, I think we could just go and run in and just do the whole thing and not even have an issue. There's a cave up ahead. I know that. So... In caves, there's always Geodudes, and those will be super easy to train off of. So, we might be in a good place to get some good training in. Okay. This... If you had... A flying move, I'd be like, let's do it, but you don't. So we're gonna go with the way that's easiest to level this up. Peck their eyes out. Ooh, almost killed them. Okay, so there's some trainers ahead. I... It's a little bit... Some people are a little bit more low on health than I would like them to be at the moment. Especially for the people who are really being trained, so I'm gonna... Alright, we'll fight some, some wilds on the way back, but I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center real quick and get everybody a little more up to scratch. There's a lot lower. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw in uh, Ziggy, actually. Ziggy with Tackle will get Stab, so I'm thinking that that might work out pretty well. Not as much as I was hoping. <laughs> what am I thinking? This thing is also a ground type. What's a scratch gonna do? Not much, actually. I could have been using Water Gun this whole time. Okay, we're gonna... I just wanna... Because, right, they're a ground type. Yeah, what the fuck was I doing? Another one? 
Okay, yeah, let's just see this in action. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll be remembering that moving forward. Honestly, Merle, I really thought would have had like a water attack by now. Um, I'm a little disappointed that they don't. Maybe they will at level 10. That's mainly what we're going to be aiming for, is getting everybody up to like level 11-ish, probably. Skipper's probably going to stay ahead of everybody, but... They're the Skipper! I mainly want to get up to that cave. Beat some trainers along the way will help. Nope, not that turn. This turn. We keep getting them Nankada. Or that, that's fine. I think... I want to check. I think you got... Yeah, you got a lot of defense. So I think that's where your strongest suit is. It's taking hits. Not not necessarily... Di well, that was a crit, so that doesn't count. But, like, not necessarily dishing them out, but... You know, you can dish them out well enough that I think you can handle some of the non-ground uh, types out here. There we go. Merle can piggyback off each other. Or you and Bio Phoenix can piggyback off each other. Mm. Like, do I want to fight them together or separately? Like, that's kind of the question I'm running into. Mm. You're going to be in a double battle pretty soon, and I actually might want you to fight because that. The mountain men look like they have Geodudes or something. Really? Really now? Really? Okay. Skipper. There we go. Alright, turn your head. There you go. Alright. Hiker and a youngster. Geodude and Shroomish. Okay. Water types. Not good here. So, what do we do? You will water gun that thing, you will tackle that thing, and then hope for the fucking best, I suppose. But I didn't want to have to switch someone out this, like, quickly. Oh, well that's nice. On who? Ooh, oh, that's actually not too terrible uh, for me. Bio Phoenix, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna have them do that. I'm gonna switch out Skipper for Taylor. Just because I'm gonna need to kill them faster. Bio Phoenix should. It should be. The absorb should be neutral damage, no matter what, because water and flying together neutralize each other's things. That sucks. But, you know, what are you gonna do? Peck, though. Peck is good. Hurt yourself. Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna have them do that, because I'm wondering if... Because they're gonna switch out, maybe the supersonic will hit anyway. Okay, Skipper, I think, is ready for the gym. Is the Supersonic going to hit? It did. Very nice. Perfect. 
Okay. All right. Let's. I don't like how low Merle is, but I don't want to go back so soon. We, did, we do have a lot of this Paralyze Heal, so we're gonna hit you up with a Paralyze Heal. I'm gonna hit you with a Potion, because we're gonna have enough money after this to deal with whatever. You're another mountain person, so Geodude's all the way, I'm assuming. Yeah, this will be easy for Bio Phoenix. Alright, definitely easy leveling here. And if there's some more of these up ahead, great. We'll, we'll level all the way up that we need to. If I get Bio Phoenix and Merle maybe up to 10 or 11, that's really all I'm looking for. Can't really get into there until we get cut, which will probably be after. You wanna dig that tunnel? That's nice. Items down here. Oh, there's items up here. X special, free money. Hey, look, a rock. Maybe there's something. Nope. Maybe there's something. Nope. Okay. Let's go in here, catch Pokemon, and see what happens. Welcome to the Rust Rust Turf Tunnel. What are we catching? Catching or killing? It's a Wivmer. Oh, what shall I call you? Wismer, you need something else. We're gonna go with uh, our defensive tank over here to wear you down, because I know you're gonna have that, and that it... That's, uh, more damage than I was hoping for. Okay. We're gonna, we might need some potions, just in case. Ha! We need some potions right now, is what we need. I don't like that one bit. Hoo boy! Here's the thing, uproars are normal type of attack, so... Uh... Uh... Okay, calm down. Uh... I'm gonna switch you out, actually, for... Oh, shit. Why don't I have anyone with, like... Okay, you know what? We're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna go for it and hope for the best. He's the only person who's gonna have soundproof. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay, what am I gonna call you? Wismer, Loudrid, and Exploud. Cry its cries equal a jet plane in volume. It inhales through its ear canals because of the system. It can cry continually without having to catch its breath. My god. Uh, oh, what do I want to call you? I know this is a bit of a... I'm just gonna call you Boomer. Because you're fucking loud. Oof. Did not like that. Ah. Actually. I'm trying to think here. If we keep running into those. That's not good. I think there are Geodudes in here. But it's mostly a Wismer cave. So... I'm actually thinking you should be up front and hit them with the, uh, the water gun, maybe. Okay, I can't get through here, and if this is mostly a Wismer Cave, I don't like the idea of the Wismer Cave. Yeah, unless I can easily kill you. Like, they're low level, but that uproar is actually kind of devastating. 
Like, that's a little more damage than I'm expecting at this moment in time. Like, it needs a lot of training to, to get it to be really effective, but still not great. Not great for me right now. So, okay. Uh... Switch you up with Bio Phoenix. We might grind a little bit this episode just to just to get get where we need to go. Really, really now. I literally left the cave so I wouldn't have to deal with you. Now you're gonna pound. I actually hate I hate that. I can't like that one crit. That one crit on an uproar really scared me. I do not want to lose anyone. Yeah, here it comes. I can't one-shot these things, unfortunately. I feel like I just opened a Pandora's box and now it's gonna be nothing but Whismers out here and I'm kinda worried. Okay. Or there's some Ninkadas. That's good. I'm trying to think of when... When does... When is Merle gonna learn a water move? Like Water Gun or Bubble even. That would, that would also be great. Because if I can get them to learn that, I think I'm ready to go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you fuckers. You keep throwing them at me. Uh, uh, <sighs> You're the strongest. You gotta take the hits. Woof. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it so much. Ooh, don't do it. Okay. Oh. What's with your accuracy lately, man? We're going to the Pokemon Center real quick. <sighs> like, I feel like the main thing I need is to get Merle up to 10. If he doesn't learn Bubble by then, it's like, I, I don't know what to do with him. So, I'm mostly going to switch back and forth between Merle and Bio Phoenix for a bit to just get them up. Just get them up off of some of the... Dealing with the highest level stuff out here for quick level grind kind of thing. These fuckers keep showing up and I don't like them! Good shot! Ugh. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Please learn something. You do have a lot of HP, though. That is one of the good things, is that you're gonna have a lot of HP and, de and, and defense, which is great. that you went up at all in your attack, but... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hmm. Don't like that, man. I don't like that. I... it might... 
This is such like a a, a a move that I shouldn't make, but I'm looking at Skipper right now. Everything they're gonna fight is a rock type. A rock and ground type. Other than nose pass, it's gonna be a rock type, like pure rock type. From a speed perspective. We'll, we'll outpace the Geo dudes easy. I don't know if Nose Pass is super quick or anything. But, like, I, I really wish I hadn't gone in that Wismer cave, because yeah, there's nothing but Wismers at. Well, we have a couple things other than Wismers out here. But I'm wondering if, if I go and kick the first two or three people's asses in there with Skipper, would that get me up to, like, 14? I could just, like, blast through Roxanne real quick. Thinking that might be a distinct possibility. I don't love this idea that I'm having, but I'm genuinely in a spot where the only two Pokemon that really work are Skipper and maybe Biophoenix, but, like, Biophoenix is also not going to be resisting very much. I mean, not that... Well, it's going to be taking double damage from Rock-type moves, and that's kind of what I'm worried about. But I don't think I'm in a position to get Merle up to a point where they're going to learn... <sighs> Did you pick anything up? No. I don't think Merle's gonna be in a position to do much. I did heal them, right? Alright, you know what? I'm gonna get them both up to 10. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. They're both gonna get up to 10. We're just gonna have to deal with these Wismers as they keep coming. Because there's no grass up there for me to do anything. And I'm just going to have to hope for the best. And then we're just going to go in. Come on. Really wish they would start missing some of these attacks, especially the uproars, because the uproars are the devastating parts. I gotta get a trainer or something. Okay, that's a little better. That doesn't... Well, Peck's not great, but... They at least do moves that don't hurt me a little bit every now and then. Okay. Come on, man. Whoa, no. Kill it. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Okay. I'm gonna switch you out. You get an Encada or two, and you'll be up to ten. You can at least... At the very least, I know Biophoenix is faster than anything that Roxanne's gonna have. So, at the very least, if you get Water Gun off quickly... And Supersonic is also useful. I'm gonna be real. It's it's gonna come solely down to Skipper. <sighs> Almost kind of wondering here. I should... I'm... Hmm. I'm gonna be going to the gym next time. I'm gonna see what happens, but I think I need to maybe put someone away. Like, I don't I don't tend to go with the whole as soon as you wipe you you die kind of thing. Uh I think if you have Pokemon in the storage, you should be allowed to continue. 
At this point, I don't think Merle's going to be able to handle the gym. Because they don't have a water attack yet. They might in a couple levels. But here's the thing. I need to... I want to go now. I need to go now and just do this. So, we'll be back next time. And we're going to go to the gym. And we're going to see what happens. I think we can handle it. But, you know, just in case we have some Pokemon in the background. But I, I think we're okay. We're coming in with type advantage and a couple other things. I think we'll be alright. So, come back next time and we'll do that. And get out of Rustboro. <laughs> Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon for notifications. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, and feel free to check out some of our other gaming videos, our weekly podcast, Anime Yay or Nay, or our parody series, Madoka Magically Abridged. See you next time!